Hey guys, Hornto Bricks here, back in another video. Today we are going to be reviewing the Gar Saxon minifigure from the Mandalorian Starfighter. The other figures in this set are the Mandalorian Loyalist and the Bo Katan minifigure. Unfortunately, the Mandalorian Loyalist and the Bo Katan minifigure have both been in the magazines for the Europe magazines. They've been in the little foil packs. People take them off and resell them. It makes the price go down so much that Bo Katan was like $10 and then it's gone down to like three or four or something it's crazy it was so much or it was so much for the figure it, it's a great set i would definitely recommend it but today we are going to be reviewing the gar saxon the gar saxon has not been in a foil pack in the europe magazines yet i hope that he does not ever show up in those because it would very hurt his if it, it would very much so hurt his prices and it would make his value drop a lot this, this is a great minifigure and I hope for your guys' sake, who doesn't have this minifigure, that it goes down so that you guys can get it as well. Because it's a great minifigure, or you didn't get the chance to get it. But this is a great minifigure, so let's get into it. First off for this minifigure, let's take a look at the accessories. This accessory is the regular Mandalorian gun here. This comes with all the other minifigures in this set. The other minifigures in this set are the Bo-Katan and the Mandalorian Loyalist. The Bo-Katan has two, the Mandalorian, or... Er, yeah, the Bo-Katan has two, and the Mandalorian and Loyalist has two as well. So the Gar Saxon is the only one with one, unfortunately. But we can take that off for a minute so that we can get a better look at him. If we take the stand off as well, you can see he has some gunmetal gray arms with some black hands on both sides. Gunmetal with the black. Very good. If we take the helmet off, you can see it has a very nice head custom to this minifigure. It's not custom Lego, but it is real Lego, genuine, genuine, genuine. You can see the logo is in the top of the head if it will focus. You can see that. I do not do anything fake. This is a great figure. And you can look at the head here. It has a um, pebbly beard here. Not very fully grown yet with a pebbly mustache as well. The mouth print. Is it has some wrinkles under the lips. The lips are black, but they wouldn't do red because red looks like it has lipstick, but it makes sense to do the black because you can still tell that it's lips. You see it has black eyes with white pupils and brown eyebrows. Very cool. And it has some wrinkles on the forehead and wrinkles on the cheeks and closer to the mouth. Kind of looks like he's eating something almost. Unfortunately, no alternate head. This head is tan, regular tan that is. But now we can take a look at the helmet of Gar Saxon, which is great. This is a great helmet. I really like it. I wish I had this like life size. It's a very, very, very cool helmet. There's none other than this one, I don't think, that have the spikes. Maybe the one that comes in the Mandalorian Forge has that one. The lady that makes the Mandalorian armor. It's pretty cool. But we can take a deeper look into the helmet here. It has the yellow visor. I think that's a visor. I believe that's what people call it. I think so. Um, because it's still a visor because you have to see out of it. You can see it's outlined in red with some spikes here at the top. Printed spikes, that is. The red ones with some lines in the middle, gunmetal gray lines. So they just created a space in the print so that you can see through to the gunmetal gray print here. This is a gunmetal gray helmet. And then you could see the four gunmetal gray actual molded spikes which look amazing this figure is the only one with it i think maybe the mandalorian from the mandalorian forge has it it's possible but i'm not certain i you can't trust me on anything really because i don't usually fact check but i fact check after i say stuff but if we take the helmet and the head off you can see it has a gunmetal gray jetpack here very nice very nice it has three different sections to where the fuel or jetpack flames can come out. And I believe that when Mandalorians bend down, I'm not sure if all have this. I said it in my last Mandalorian video. I might post these on the same day with the review of the Mandalorian Loyalist as well. But they have the missile in the middle so they can bend down and then have the missile ready to launch at like ships and stuff. And it will take down a ship. It's very cool. Um ability of the mandalorians but you can see this figure has some great prints first off so that i'm not having to hold it i'm going to put it on the stand it looks great so that you guys can see it all focused and everything you could see at the front there near the torso 
or on the torso you can see that it has the mandalorian like diamond in the middle of the chest there not diamond but like space in between the plates you can see it has some red printing around a yellow dot there and then these are mandalorian or sorry gar saxon is the leader of the um mandalorian super commandos which, no spoilers, that's from Season 7 of The Clone Wars. It's a very good season. You guys should definitely watch it. It's great. Um, they have the Darth Maul print here. You can see on the chest plate there with the red lines going diagonally on the almost edge of the um, print there for the plate. But it has, like, the Darth Maul head design. It's very, very cool with straps at the top to hold up the chest plates there outlined in red with gunmetal behind the plates very cool and then darker gunmetal on the sides here with some wrinkles at the bottom maybe wrinkles for his um like tighter clothes underneath the chest plate and stuff but if we take a look at the legs alone or actually first let's look the back of the torso for this minifigure it's scraped up supposed to look that way it's not the condition of my figure it's supposed to look like that it's supposed to look beaten up and stuff but you can see it has some wear there, supposed to be like that, printed supposed to be like that. But it also has the other man or Darth Maul print head, I, not print head, head print or like head, like, like on his skin. You can see like the, the patterns, sorry, I should say patterns, you can see. But you could see the patterns on the back plate there with an arch at the bottom and arch is going in towards the neck there making a triangle. You can see on the legs now we can head over to that section of the minifigure. Those legs were really hard to take off of that. I'm going to check for cracks. No, wait, is that a crack or is that a mold line? Please tell me that is not a crack. Uh-oh. I think that is a mold line. That is good, that it is not a crack. You can see on the other side, false line, false line. Um, heel cracks maybe, I don't know. Are those mold lines? I think those are, cause it comes from the top of the legs too. I didn't have them sitting down. I had them standing up on my shelf, which I don't put them on any studs. But you can see on the belt, sorry, I drifted off there. You can see on the belt, it has the buckle there instead of having it on the torso they printed it on the actual hip where a belt should be and then you could see the diamond there underneath the belt or not diamond but facing down um the triangle um you can see the printed camera or the printed um cloth around his legs that has the darth maul um pattern print on there very cool that's a lighter gunmetal but the actual legs are molded gunmetal it's a very very cool figure with some wrinkles there near the feet or sorry legs um maybe he's wearing like pants or something and then you could see the toe print if i put it on here the carpet might cover it but you can see the toe print at the bottom there i have no misprints thankfully and non thankfully it would be worth a lot more if it was misprinted but it's still a great figure without misprints very nice you can see it has some black print there at the bottom near the feet or on the feet, and then it has the, sorry, a hair is sticking up, weird, um, you could see the black surrounding it with the light gray, or sorry, silver print in the middle with a black line through that in the middle, very cool, but now we can build this figure, so let's put the feet on the, or sorry, not feet, the legs on the torso, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of space so that he doesn't actually get cracks, and then let's put the jetpack on the head. Eh, if I can get it on. There we go. The helmet. Very nice. And then the Mandalorian gun. So this is a very nice figure. Now we can take a look at the prices. Okay, so I am back with the prices. This is a great figure for the price. I would definitely buy it. It depends on how much money you're wanting to spend on this figure. Put in the comments how much you're willing to spend before you hear me say the prices because once you hear it there's probably no going back on Bricklink, the averages for it new are 40 dollars i believe i'll go back and check in a minute 
and it's 30 something dollars i'm gonna go back and check and i'll be right back sorry that i forgot i just spent like 30 seconds talking and then i forgot okay so it was 36 dollars for it used 36.69 cents that is um $36.69 for it used, and then new, it was $42.12 for it new. So this is a great figure for that price. It is amazing, and I would definitely suggest it. It's a great figure. You can just tell by the prints that it's amazing. And I'm going to be doing the review on the Mandalorian Loyalist. I think I am going to put out the Gar Saxon first, because I believe he will get more views, because it is a more expensive figure. Just telling by the prints, you could tell it's a more expensive figure. Even though they have equal prints, the um, the Gar Saxon looks a lot better in my in my eye. Um, I am going to put be putting out the review on the Mandalorian Consular. I believe that's how you say it. But this was a great review, and I hope you guys liked it. And I'll catch you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe, and goodbye.